In today's video, we're gonna go through how to use the new generation model Redcraft V3. And as the time of this recording, it is the best image generation model that is out to date. I've been playing around with it lately and I've been able to create images like this that are trained on a specific style that I like. Not only that, the text is pretty incredible. The text that it can generate in the images. This one's quite a long one, for example. Welcome to Chile, come for the mountains, stay for the piscolas. If you know anything about Chile, that might be slightly funny for you. But the point is that the long text capability inside the images are amazing. You can also create logos very easily and, and choose the specific color that you want the logo to be. And you can even create extremely realistic looking images all with the same image model. This is all from a company called Recraft AI, and it's the latest model that has been making a bit of a splash in the AI world because it's just vastly superior when it comes to image generation than all the other models. Even then Flux 1.1 Pro, which I've done plenty of videos about, you can look them up if you want, and it is extremely easy to use. Now, you can try Redcraft and the new model in their own platform, which is redcraft.ai forward slash projects. I'll leave a link for you to try this out for free. If you, link, if you use the link below, you get a bunch of credits so you can use this for free. And it's really user friendly, very intuitive to use. You can, they even give you a how to get started little section right away. You can generate photorealistic images, remove background, simple things. You can also create images with a specific color palette and save that color palette, which I find very useful. You can upscale images and you can even change components of an image. So here, for example, they give you the example that they didn't like the color they had on the dog. They can add now a little bandana. You can also create text to vector images. So if you're a designer, this can be an extremely helpful thing as well. Really, really easy, easy to use. I like this tool already, they're giving I think they're starting to become like a Canva competitor or maybe that's their idea. I created this image before. Let's try it out on the platform and then I'm gonna show you how you can use it in full.ai which gives you a few more capabilities. So let's just create this image again. Hopefully I've got enough credits. I'm gonna create an image here and uh, let's just change it to be landscape a little bit and go recraft. You can choose the models that you wanna choose and they give you the option of how they look like or what they look like here. Uh, grain, color blobs, sketch, and all this sort of stuff. It's a nice way to see what my image could potentially look like. And here we go, here's a high quality photo uh, of a man giving a presentation in a modern office. Now the eyes do look a little bit weird, but the rest is fine. So I could then go and adjust a couple of things here. So I can modify the area. I can, for example, circle his shoes and say, give him Air Force Ones. Let's see if it does that. And there you go, it's changed the images for the sneakers pretty good. They're not exactly Air Force Ones, but I'm guessing maybe they can't do that, but that's not bad at all. Oh, I like that really cool, easy functionality to use. There's a bunch of different things that you can do in this user interface. I highly recommend you, you check it out, particularly if you're working a lot with images. It might be a really nice alternative to Canva.ai. It doesn't have all the functionalities that Canva does, but it might be a nice change. So as I said before, I was making all of these images, but I was using full.ai to use it. Why do I use Fall? Well, it also gives me access to all of the image generation and even video generation models out there that come out. I can just subscribe to one platform and I can access all of them as soon as they come out, which is what I've been doing. I just generated a realistic image of a woman sitting in a cafe enjoying a cup of coffee. We can also change the style here. So let's change it to hand drawn, for example, and see what comes out. It's the same prompt, by the way, but I'm just changing the look of that. And now it's a hand drawn illustration, which is pretty good. That's exactly what it is. She's got a bun and it, you know, it looks really decent, at least for the style as well. So if you want to try it in full.ai, you can either go to you can go to explore when you sign up, and they're actually gonna have a big banner called Red Panda, which is technically the the right name for this new model. You're gonna go try it now. You're gonna need a few credits to try this. So if you wanna try it for free, try it on the other platform that I just showed you before. Uh, and let's change it here. So let's see if it does this. A realistic quality, quality, sorry. A realistic quality image of a horse running through the Patagonian mountains at the top of, at the top 
of the image, some letters in gold read, welcome to Chile. I've set it as a realistic image and then we'll see, we'll just change that style so I can demonstrate all the different variations that it has using this in full.ai. That's not bad, a little horse for the Patagonia Mountains, welcome to Chile in gold and it kind of suits, fits with the environment. The horse might be a little wonky, but that's okay, we can try again. Let's try a different little style like, uh, 2D art poster and see what comes out. Perfect, really, really cool. There's a couple of inputs here that are really interesting. If I go to more and let's stay with this design, right? But I wanna change the colors. Let's say, yeah, I want that blue and I can change whichever color or whichever shade of blue there. Let's make it a bit darker uh, and let's make it green as well. So hopefully it's gonna use those three colors, green, blue, and let's make it use bit of a pink as well. So if I run it now and understand that it needs to create that illustration using those colors. Really handy as well, because you can make some really easy logos as well or for your brand guidelines, you can just add them in there. You can also add that the brand guidelines using the recraft their interface, which I think is what they want you to do, but I'm using it in fold.ai because it allows me to place it into automation. So if I want to create a blog post and automate that, this into a blog post header or whatever that is, then it's easy for me to do that. And you can see here that it generated the image. Welcome to Chile with a horse riding through the mountains in a digital 2D art poster using the colors that I specified. Really, really interesting stuff. Let's do one more 2D art poster just to try it. Cool, nice. So what I, what I wanna go through now is how I created this. I trained it on an image style and then I asked it to do other things here. This image, this image style is really old school. It's from Buenos Aires and from a brand that sells alpargatas, little shoes, but I don't see it much these days. So I wanted to recreate that style using something else. What we're gonna do for this example is actually gonna do this, but with the old Campari art style that I also like, and I also don't see it that much. So we're going to uh, see if we can save these images on my desktop, doesn't matter. And I've just searched a bunch on Pinterest. You can search them on wherever. They're slightly different, but Campari still has the same style that they use, at least they did back in the day. It's a shame because you don't see this art too much these days and I really thought it was so cool. Okay, so I've got the five images in my desktop. Now what I wanna do is go to, now what I wanna go is go to the red panda model. I'm gonna try it now again. And if you go to the recraft red panda model in folded AI, you're gonna have this section here that goes training recraft v create a style so you can understand the style that you wanted so here i just need to add no more than five images i've tried it with six and it really doesn't work you can see that i've failed all these other times so there's no uh funky wording that needs to go into this uh, there's no key trigger word like you need in a flux laura nothing like that i'm going to grab the four images and i'm just going to put them in here and drop the files there the illustration style, I'm gonna leave as a default and I'm gonna go start. The images that I had before were JPEGs. It seems that it didn't like that. They need to be PNGs. So all I've done is just converted them from JPEGs to PNG. You can use any free software. Let's see if that's gonna work. Perfect, and it seems that that's training. So and now it's completed, so perfect. You need to make sure those images are PNGs, not JPEGs. And now once we have completed that, we're going to have, we're going to press run inference and the prompt for the, we're gonna leave the style as default. The prompt will be, the prompt will be a clown holding a bottle of Campari while riding a unicycle. This might be a bit too much for it, but let's see if it gets the tone of it. Cool, it's slightly terrifying, but also it's slightly getting this. So the Campari style is actually really on the money, uh, that wording and stuff for that. If we look at the other ones, the Campari spot on, it's a little bit grainy, so that's really good. So let's take, prompt it again, and let's take the clown out of there. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit more simple this time and say a bottle of, a red bottle of Campari next to two empty glasses and then see what happens. Let's take the terrifying <laughs> clown out of there. Cool, now we're really getting into this style of the image, it's awesome. So using this, it's got the Campari kind of logo right next to two empty glasses. The top of, let's change it. So the top of the image, the, it says, if you've ever had a Campari, it's quite bitter, so whatever. 
But it's a cool way to kind of start generating ideas for your next campaign. And if you like an image, certain image style, you can kind of train it on it. I really like this. It's really user friendly and I think quite useful. Pretty good. I don't mind that at all, actually. Cool, that's a lot better. So we've got a bottle of uh, Campari with the Campari logo, and it's the old school Campari logo. Cheers to the bitter. It has that precisely. Let's change the um, style C and see what that comes up with. I wonder if it copies the same style that we trained it on, but uh, makes it a digital illustration. I'm not sure. Beautiful. So that's even getting better and better. Cheers to the bitter. Campari, two empty glasses. It's understanding that a lot better. Uh, let's go to the digital illustration and do it a do 2D art poster. Not compatible with the ID style, that makes sense. Let's go to a vector illustration and see if it does that. If we download the vector uh, illustration, it shouldn't be in a JPEG format. It should be in the vector format, which I forgot the name of, but we'll get it in a second. Perfect. So let's download this one here. Really cool, realistic, really cool image that kind of represents that old art style of Campari. At least I think so. I'm sure a lot of people in the video are gonna disagree, but hey, that's you can do that as well. You can definitely disagree, but I like this as well to reference the art style. It seems really, really good. That's all well and good, but how can we use this and how's it useful for us? Well, you can use this in automations really easily. We've got the, you can call this now in terms of a C URL. So this allows you to place it into your make automation and from a blog post, you can create an image and then post that into LinkedIn or whatever that is. And that ultimately is gonna help you get more traffic to your website. If you wanna learn about that stuff and get a bit deeper into how to use these AI tools for your SEO and your marketing, you can join our online school community called the AI Ranking School. I'll leave a link to that below. You can try it out risk-free for seven days. Um, if you don't like it, just send me a DM, we'll send you your money back because if it's not the right thing for you, you shouldn't be stuck in there. But there's a lot of things, if you wanna get into AI and use the latest tools, there's the AI fundamentals, there's the automation fundamentals, just to get you started up and running with all these AI tools. The useful ones, not the ones that are just either GPT wrappers or Flux wrappers, at least in our opinion. Anyway, a lot of fun. We also have two weekly meetings. You can check that out. Uh, we're also going to do a very detailed tutorial within that yeah, within that group on how to integrate this into automation. So if you want to be a part of that, I'll leave a link to, of this below, but I'd love to know what you think. Let me know, are you going to use this Recraft V3? I would highly recommend you try it out on their own platform. Let me know how you're using it. Let me know if you like it as opposed to the tools that you're using now like Canva or not. Cheers, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.